Hello guys and welcome back to another episode of my Creator Club series on FIFA 22. Now as you can see we're currently 6th in the table and today we're going to, well we've got a busy December I think. We've got Sutton who are down in 19th. We've then got a game against, let's have a look, we've got Port Vale who are 15th at home again. We've then got Rochdale away from home who are 16th. Forest Green, who are 18th. Leighton Orient, who are 14th. And then that is it. So we've got four games in the league, all of which are teams below us in the uh, table. But who did I miss? Sutton, 19th. Port Vale, Rochdale, Vos No, all of five teams, all of which are below us in the table. We've got Portsmouth in the Cup, which is going to be a big game. Uh, we'll play that one, and we'll probably play... We'll probably play three of these games and simulate three. So hopefully we can get a good um, bit of form going in the league. We will simulate this game against Sutton United. Hopefully we can beat them. Our team's not 100% fit, but neither is theirs. Like I say, they're in 19th and we're at home. So hopefully we can get ourselves a win to start the episode off. We do. Soroy and Alho with the goals. We managed to get three massive points. And I don't know where that's going to put us in the table now. your question of course you can that's two that's this is, this is three questions thank you for your time you're welcome. Okay, so we move up to fifth in the league now. We've leapfrogged Colchester. Up next, we've got Port Vale, which I might play, but with a very rotation side. Um, because the Portsmouth game is going to be a big one. Transfer talks have ended for press. Okay, fair enough. That's fine. Right training day on the 10th of December and then the 11th of December we've got Port Vale we seem to have uh, games on my birthday right so List is going to come out for Watts Jones is going to come out for Slomani Paul's going to come out for Steel this is going to be a very bad side McGoughlin can come in Lees Oakley Kerwan Wait, no, he's my right back. <laughs> right. And goal. We'll keep Holmes. And then I just need a, a midfielder. Um, I'm going to play. An extra, an extra defender. I'm going to play five at the back. I'm going to drop McGoughlin into centre-back. I'm going to play like that. So it's going to be a difficult, very difficult fixture against Port Vale at home. But we're going to try our best with this team. What are left footed? Right, left. I'll swap them over then. Uh, right, right, right. Left, right, right. Left, Lee's can go that side. And right, OK. Come on then, let's go play for Port Vale. And if we can manage to scrape three points, I mean, it's going to be a massive game, uh, massive three points. Where did they get list? Hello everyone, you know some footballers enjoy a rainy day, not sure fans always feel that way, but an exciting match and prospect nonetheless. I'm your match commentator Derek Ray, and sitting alongside me, the former Arsenal, West Ham and Coventry midfield player Stuart Robson. And League Two action is what's on the menu coming up live. It's the Lions, and they face Port Vale. Well thanks Derek, the best coach I've played under would always tell us before kickoff, earn the right to play. If you can win your individual battles, outrun your opponent, eventually you'll get the space to show your ability. I'm sure that's being echoed by the coaches here today. 
A look at the starting lineup for Lions. It's going to be a very difficult game with this starting 11. We'll try our best. If we can get three points, it'll be amazing. If we can only get a draw, I'll take it. Obviously, I don't want to lose. We can, also, we can always bring on this and uh, Ricky from the bench. Let's jump into it and see what we can do against Port Vale with our youth team, basically. And also watch out for one of the central midfield players going to join the front two. Committed challenge. All control from still there. Slomani's obviously had a little right, bit of first team football, not much, but obviously I've only just brought him up from the uh, youth team. And Walsh, can he put oh it God. in? It's one nil. One nil, and what a fast What's with the goal? The defence just parted like the Red Sea. Was it, was it the Red Sea? That Moses walked through. Well, just look at his Literally, I was here. being he obviously a bit patient. I got the ball with Walsh, and, he finds the back and the, the defence just parted. Goal. A great finish from Watts to make it 1 0 into the corner. And we are 1 0 up against Port Vale here. Harry Watts. Playing and for the, the ball badge. Rolling again with the score line standing at 1 0. Naughty from uh, Slimani there. Takes Keith. In. Good goal. And a goal. The equaliser. Superb entertainment. That's a great finish from Hoof. Well, let's take another look. And wow, how cleanly does he hit that? The keeper was never going to save it. What a good goal that is. It's a very, very good goal. <laughs> Takes a touch, out of his feet. Top corner. Holmes ain't getting anywhere near that. So now, oh, corner a corner. Can someone so get underneath the it again. This. Wins the header. I've got to come in. What is Stone doing? Slavani wins the header and puts us 2-1 up. But you've got to be asking questions about the goalkeeping there. Well, here you can see it again. It's a superb cross, just asking for someone to go and meet it. And it's a comfortable finish in the end, which is made the to look so The defender on the line as well. It's a lovely goal. <sighs> just didn't do anything. And South Blues make it 2-1 for a Slavani well, goal. Second goal for the club. The goal that's made it and Port Val are chasing the game again. A sloppy pass. Good interception. Can we play through Slomani? We'll try it. Slomani is through. To make it 3 1, I'll we'll look for what we can. No, I can't. But it does make it 3 1. I'll do a little ball row, take it round the goalkeeper, and Slomani makes it 3 1 at home against Port Vale. I'm not sure what's happened to the defence here. We, I was looking for Watts, and it was just too late. The defenders got back, so I took it round the goalkeeper and an easy tap in. But I'm not sure. I'm not sure what's happened to Port Vale. Okay, so 3 1 to South Blues. Well, the action continues. We've only half no an hour played. This is a big, very good game. And the attack looks promising. And space for the cross. Can he finish this? Well done. Good save, Holmes. Well, his reflexes are it's so funny that I'm literally going to be fantastic replacing Holmes like, at the earliest possible Can chance. Can he deliver it with accuracy? Well, you're not going to bamboozle the goalkeeper with a corner like that. Well, as you can see, the host have had most of the ball. Could have played Watts through then, but Walsh is through again. Don't know what's happened to this port of our defence. Oh, wait, Stuart, they might score. Not all that convincing. Great save from home. Really good challenge. Ten minutes until List gets substituted. Taylor. It might be Taylor. Pep. Very good defending. alert defending to put a stop to the chance. I'm trying to go over the top to uh, List there, but don't not get the time to put the ball in. McGoughlin with a great tackle. Uh, falls danger. to Rodney again. To Hugh. 
who makes it 3-2. It's going to be an interesting it, the final half an hour to this game. Just look at this again. The combination it's been all Port Vale since the break, the unfortunately. So but... well, time just challenged magnificently. Oh, don't lose it there. So who? That's Rossa, not Hugh. Good no defending. For the Managed keeper. to keep the ball on as well. I believe there's been a goal in one of the other matches. Alex Scott has the details. It's a goal for Colchester United. Nice build up. Oh, in fast. 3-3 in the 89th minute. It has been coming. We haven't been good enough this second half. But with the team we put out, I'm happy to get a point. If we can hold on well, to a point, that is. This is a wonderful strike. He makes the perfect connection. And he has so much pace it's on it. It's a great goal. Goal Goalkeeper should be doing so much better there, Holmes. Got to be saving that. So uh, Rossa makes it 3 3 in the 89th minute. We're going to have like, one attack Both here. Sets of fans being put through something of an emotional mangle. Can they push ahead on the closing stages? Nice Watts. Walsh. That's well, Ricky, uh, here. Well, do not analysis, let them score again. Defending. There you go. Well, full time whistle, whistle goes. 3 3 is not a bad result considering we put our literally our second string side out. Let's go um, the game. and play Portsmouth at Fratton Park. Always a great privilege to be here on the South Coast, in particular Fratton Park. Fratton Park. I'm Derek Ray, and keeping me company in the commentary box today is, of course, Stuart Robson. And a potentially exciting occasion on the cup front. It's Portsmouth, and they take on the Lions. Well, Derek, it's a nice break from league action today for these clubs. Obviously a long way to go in the tournament. The final is months away, but they want to put in a good performance and get through to that next round. Number 16, Connor Ogilvie. Number 23, Lewis Thompson. Number six, Sean Williams. And this is the starting 11 for Portsmouth. Well, I think they have a nice balance to their team. A solid back four, two holding midfielders, three creative I'm not sure if they're in League One or the Championship. I think they're in League One. Look at the starting lineup for Lions. So we've got our standard starting eleven: well, four, Holmes, Alho, Viola, Boxer, Wilkins, Murray, Nixon, Valakari, Paul, Jones, and Lee. Yes, he needs to pass it well, but he also needs to make runs beyond the two. Okay, so Portsmouth are in League and One, so we're playing high away. division team here. It's going to be a difficult game. Can we get ourselves a win in the Papa John's Trophy? You can already Thompson. tell that the stand of the football has gone up. Michael Jacobs. And now Jacobs, through. what a save from Holmes. Portsmouth have started form. very and well. Just pulled off an absolutely stunning save. Chance to take the lead. Oh, oh, save. Well, that's really that's a save from Holmes. The have any scraps. List. Oh, we almost get another counter attack going. This is going to be a very difficult game to win. It has to be. Oh, wow. There it is. The first goal of the game, and the lead certainly doesn't flatter them. We're Good playing so well. Well, as you can see, he hits this with so much power, but just look at the follow through. So athletic. That's oh, a Holmes, dynamic man. strike. Just stay on your feet. Jones. 
Nothing to list. It's only nine. Shoot. 1-1. One, one. I don't know how that's gone in, but Lister scored at Fratton Park. Makes it 1-1 one, one away from home at Portsmouth. Just had to slow it down a little bit, get the ball to well, feet. As you can see here, the build-up is patient, it's precise and penetrative, which opens up the opposition. But you and do fortunately have for us, the goalkeeper the didn't do very well. So 1-1, one, one. Elliot Lister to goal. Like can we uh, push on and do a little bit better at defending this time? One goal apiece in this game. Like this. this List is through, he's onside. He's Elliot List and makes it 2 1. We are beating Portsmouth at Fratton Park. Elliot List has made a few good runs where I've not quite found him in well, time, but we did a little 1 2 with Ricky Joe Jones there, and Elliot List is through, and I'm always back to score 1 on 1. Elliot List makes it 2 1. He got there. Well, the crowd is doing their bit. Can they find the equaliser here? Downing comes off. The defender coming off. I don't know who's come on for him. Romero. I don't know if he's going to be an attacking player or defensive. But he gets the ball short from the corner. Morel. Portsmouth need to do something because at the moment they're going out of the Papa Michael John's Jenkins. trophy. And oh, not anymore. Real excitement here. Holmes <laughs> is so bad. Williams with the goal. <laughs> it's just all Holmes has to do has to do is stand there and catch it. Unfortunately, he can't. Well, he can't quite do that. With the delivery into the box, just begging someone to get on the end of it, and it's a comfortable. Just, just stand and catch it. Oh, look so easy. it's, it's so frustrating goal. to be watch, to, to watch him play. Williams wasn't even looking at the ball, and Holmes gets beaten. <laughs> Don't know how. Right, that makes it 2 2, and we've got to go again. Now, 15 minutes to go, but we're still in it. We're still uh, drawing 2 2. Well, Can we manage to not concede again score, and take it They've to extra time? Really so we would like to get the winner, but. Ricky J. Jones, is he onside? He's to get in and is he onside? In Ricky J. Jones gives us back the lead. I thought he was offside. It's a great finish. Low driven to the bottom corner. Well, just look at this again. The speed oh, of I don't think he was so off. He was on. And once he gets it's a great on, finish. A great run from Ricky J. Jones. And we make it 3-2. What an emphatic finish that is. That's a great goal. Was he offside? Nah, he's miles on. Absolutely miles on. Right, three two to South Blues. Get out, get out, get out. Danger is still there. And the morale shoot. Can he finish? Great drama here. Level once more. Incredible scene. I need that keeper to get up be old enough in the youth system. It's gone straight at him. Yeah, here's the setup play. Well, it's a great little back heel, isn't it? And then the shot could not be hit any better. Struck with such venom. Great goal. And they're on the Ref. front foot, looking Ref. for a winner near the end of this game. The final whistle goes and it's 3-3. Three, three. It's penalties, it goes straight to pens. We've, we've drawn 3-3 three, three for the second game on the trot. And now we've got to decide who takes the penalties. And we've got to try and win a penalty shootout for the first time in this career mode.
Right, Paul has to take one. Um, Valakari can take the last one. Elliot List doesn't like pens. Although I'd rather Elliot List than Fiola. Okay, that's going to be it. Paul, Jones, Alho, List, Valakari to take them. They've got Williams, Jacobs, Hurst, Hackett, Fairchild and Morell. And now it is all about they go first. I'm going to go left. Oh, it's He's missed it. Missed here. Come on. Advantage South Blues. That's a great penalty he from Paul. Well done, Louis Paul. Is such a big part of this. And the Jacobs makes it 1-1. I'm going to go bottom left. And he Good pen. 2 1 to South Blues. Going right. And he's Good pen. Alho. And the keeper oh, saved it. Care of the situation. And up he comes, doing 2 2. His best to remain focused. Going left. They've hit the bar. Oh, score to give us a massive advantage, Elliot List. Yes! Portsmouth miss, we win. If Portsmouth miss, we win. Going right. Oh, he's going to the middle. Valakari to win it. You know, open his body up and go top bins. It's the Come on! South Blues win the first ever penalty Prince. shootout. We beat Portsmouth at Fratton Park say, four pens to three after a free free draw. Pressure. Get in! Well, he puts it away really well, as you can see, but you'd expect him to score from that range, but they all count. Get in Valakari, the Finland international. Get in. We move on to the next round in the Papa John's Trophy. Portsmouth bow out at this. Right. Calendar wise, how who have we been drawn to in the next round? Northampton at home. That's not a bad result, you know. We round three of the Papa Johns. There's only one, two. If we win this, we'll go through to the quarter final. It's round of 16 and the quarter final. Okay. I would like to do well in the Papa Johns this season. Obviously, that's in January. So we've got three games left of this, uh, of today's episode. Home away to Rochdale. We're going to simulate it. Hopefully, we can pick up a three points. We lose to an 87th minute winner from Morley, unfortunately. Right, up next we've got a transfer offer in for Press. <laughs> and a transfer offer in for Walker. Game-wise, we have got who to play. I've just noticed Northampton are fourth in the league, so they're doing better than us this season. I think it's Forest Green. Press has sold, fortunately enough. We should get quite a bit of money coming, come the start of January. At least uh, Christmas isn't... Don't have a game at Christmas this year. Walker has also sold, so another 90k will be allocated to us at the start of January. All right, let's simulate this game against Forest Green. Should be three points. Let's draw Valakari with a goal and then another late equaliser from Stevens. Fiola's happy. Um, thank you for not forgetting about me when I was injured, basically. Okay, and so the last game of December, 
the late Orient away from home. They're bottom of the league. So, I mean, I'm begging that we can pick up three points. I'm going to simulate it again because we can move on to January in the next episode. Let's go. We lose to bottom of the league, Leighton Orient. Elliot List with a goal. Clay and James gets goals for Leighton Orient back, but it's not good enough. That's really frustrating, that. Put you in mind. Don't worry, Colin McLaughlin. Right. That will be the end of the episode. Actually, let me go to January to see how much money we get. We've fallen to 8th in the league, so we need to rebound in the next one. Okay, so Walker has departed. Press, Dale, Talbot, Wright, Lees, Walsh have all departed. So money-wise, we have got a million to spend again. We've got 28k wage budget as well, which is massive. So I'm going to end the episode here. Going to go do some research on who I could potentially bring in in January. And oh, we've got Walsall actually in the next game. It's a big game. And in the next episode, hopefully we can uh, improve our starting 11 a little bit more. I'm looking maybe to get some wingers in. Change to a 4-4-2. But we'll do that in the next episode. So if you enjoyed, leave a like and subscribe. And I will see you in the next one. Bye.